Okay, so we're going to talk about something the mainstream media has been ignoring for quite a while. And that is the fact that while the mainstream media is focusing on Trump's executive orders about immigration, I'm sitting here thinking, well, what about his executive orders to deregulate Wall Street and bring it back to the crash we had back in 2008? Of course, the mainstream media is not covering that because, you know, immigration or economic crash, who knows? Although Trump's going to make a good point. You can't be killed by a terrorist when you're dead from an economic collapse. He's smart like that. And the thing is with this, though, is he's basically setting the economy up to fail. He's committing treason against the economy by doing this. By setting America up to when we had an economic crash, he is committing treason against the economy. And against the people, and against everyone but his rich, his rich corporate buddies on Wall Street. And you're going to tell me he's anti-establishment? No, no, hey, hey, he's anti-establishment. Well, a fun way to to fight the establishment is to vote for somebody who's helping the establishment. Screw the American people. And you know, when Trump said America first, I knew people were going to abuse it and say you're anti-American if you disagree with it, but I think now I get it. America first is the answer to the question, who's collapsing? Who's getting ruined by me? The answer is obviously America first. Obviously. And, and there are people like Paul Joseph Watson claiming that, oh, Anonymous is no longer anti-establishment for hating Donald Trump because the president apparently is no longer part of the establishment. And someone who deregulates Wall Street and causes another economic crash. Because, mark my words, that's going to happen. There's going to be another economic crash within the next 10 years. At first, I was predicting it was going to be due to student loans. Now, part of me is going to be predicting it's Wall Street again. But I guarantee if there's an economic crash, Wall Street's going to be involved. I'm still betting that student loans will have something to do with this. I'm not positive anymore like I used to be, but I'm still suspecting it. But yeah, this is just pure evil. That's really it. I'm Sifrojo, and good night.